Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, today I'll be teaching you how to make this pocket, this stylish pocket. It should be nice for you to do it on your um, kaftan for your clients. So just stick with me to the end and you see how I made it. Okay, so let's get into it. So I'll be using this um, soft collar gum. This is the softest collar gum. Okay, so I've cut it to this um, size I want. This is four and a half by five three quarter and then this one is four and a half by four and a half this is a perfect square okay all right so the first thing i'll do is i'll carry the perfect square as the four and a half by four and a half and create a, a crease to get the middle part then i'll mark three quarter that's 0 0.75 another three quarter or 0 0.75 then i'm going to draw a line to connect the two lines i'm going to draw a line like this then i'll draw the shape of the design on the pocket like this so i'm just drawing half of the shape so that by the time i open it to give me the complete um figure i'm looking for you remember i folded it into two okay so when i open it when i cut and open it's going to give me the complete figure i'm looking for okay so as you can see this is the complete figure um but i think this is too fat so i'll need to reduce it a little bit so i'll just um, use my scissors to just um, cut about one quarter inch around it to give me the perfect shape I'm looking for. So this is just perfect. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to the fabric I'm using. I'll use the white and um, a golden colored fabric. Okay. So the main pocket will be on the white and then the um, pattern on the pocket is going to be on the golden part. Okay. So I've already gummed it here. And as you can see, my cloth gum, I mean my collar gum is already gummed and my design is already gummed so i'm just going to go ahead to trim it i'll just go ahead to trim it so i'm going to trim the pocket just exactly as my pocket is like this and then i also trim this part by the two sides i'll trim it equally the top i'll leave about half inch around every other place and then i'll notch all the shapes all the um curvy parts i'll notch all around it so that i can have freedom to um bend it when i am um, ironing okay so the notch i did is not enough i'm, I'm going to uh, notch some more like that the more notches you do the more easier for you when you are folding it so you can see i'm going to fold it this way and i'll use hemming gum to hold it so that when i'm attaching it to the main pocket you no know, it's not going to um open so as you can see i've already folded it folded it and i have used my hemming gum to hold them together you can see so there's no way it's going to shake so i've already folded it you can see how our pocket is already coming out clean actually this pocket is a very easy pocket you can see how it is so i've already I've folded um my exact five three quarter and then what i'm going to do next is i'm going to put my strap okay this is strap around um on the design the white strap which is not supposed to be a problem so i've already done it i use my hemming gum to make this strap i just use it to to hold to fo i folded the strap about half inch and then i use hemming gum to hold it and i'm also going to use hemming gum to hold it to this design like this okay guys i just use hemming gum to hold it because there's no stitch if you check the reference image we are creating if you check the image we are recreating there's no stitch holding this so it has to be hemming gum so i've used hemming gum to hold them together like this and also attaching the design to the main pocket there is no stitch so i'm going to use hemming gum again to hold it to the design okay so as you can see i've already attached i've already um used steam to put my hemming gum on this so it will give me the freedom to um set it to the part to the um Part where I want it to be, so I'll just use my iron to just press it so it's a gum. You can see the use of steam. I don't need to apply any more pressure. Your steam iron, your steam will do the, the rest for you. So I've already gummed it together. So the next thing is, guys, I'm going to put in my buttons. Okay, I'm going to put my buttons. I've already done that. I put my buttons and I've already folded my five three quarter just as i want it the next thing is i'm going to use my bias 
to go meet. Okay, guys. So while, while I was making the bias, I forgot to hit the, while, while I was making this white bias, I forgot to hit the record. So I did not record it. But however, just like the way you do your bias for piping your collar, that's the way you are piping your neck. That's where you are going to make this bias. Okay. Then you are going to sew it around like this with about one quarter inch or 0 0.3 inches around. You just sew it. So I'll just go ahead and sew it and come and show you the results. Okay. So as you can see, I've sewn it. I've sewn it with about 0 0.3. That is um, a little more than um, one quarter. So I'll just turn it this way. I'll just turn it this way and top stitch on the bias okay i just stopped stop stitch so as you can see i've already top stitched it i've already top stitched it so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to top stitch again through the inside okay so as you can see i'm having a little um squeezes at the bottom of my pocket the reason is because the bias i did was too thick i doubled it so when you're making yours you should do double the bias just cut in a bias form and sew it like that okay so as you can see, I've already sewn it. If you check closely, you're going to see another stitch around it to have two stitches to make it look fine now, okay? So I've already done that. What I'm going to do, the last, this is the last part. I'll just use my hemming gum to gum these parts together. And that will be all, guys. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you've not subscribed, please, I beg you, give this video a thumbs up. And turn on the notification bell. So thank you so much guys. Bye.